uh, tarantulas, okay? This is its new enclosure. I know I'm going to need the moss. So, discoid roaches can live with tarantulas. They, it's no problem. I've seen them live with my tarantula. Um, and they eat the discoids. And they chill around. Everything is all fine. But here's the thing. If you're going to feed it discoids, you might as well have it eat a lot of food. Don't put all your discoids in there. No. But have the discoids eat and then place them in there and then eat discoids, right? So, also discoids can be like roaming around around here. And it wouldn't be a big problem. They wouldn't try to bother the spider and they're just chilling. So, if you want to add isopods and other, other, um... You know, to make it like a bio enclosure, you can also think about putting some discoids in there with some plants. And yeah, because, you know, discoids do what they do, and ice pods do what they do, and they could chill with a spider. So this is a vegans, and it's chilling in there. So I'm gonna tell you what I've learned about spiders. So, when their legs get white after molting, you want to leave them alone for about a day or two. And you want to feed them probably in the third day or the fourth day. And they don't eat every single day. So, they stay fine. Just make sure they always have water. This has water. And you can also clean the water bowls. Sometimes they get to a different color. You can clean it up. Don't think that it's like some, some like... Uh, like it's a permanent stain and you can clean it up it'll be nice like brand new so even the isopods i think drink from water from there too um it just depends what kind of spider you have but you can have plants with it and it could chill um i think it's been a while since i ever handled one of these and even if i did they were small so this is what I have. I have this little spider and 